Hey, ThinkPath travelers. Today's question comes from our fictional friend Ava in New Jersey who asks, What if Antarctica melted completely, like every last frozen penguin popsicle? Great question, Ava. Slightly terrifying, but hey, that's what we do here. So let's put on our mental swimsuits, because this hypothetical is about to get wet, salty, and then that's enough water to raise global sea levels by about 58 meters. For reference, that's higher than a 20-story building. So if you live in Florida, Bangladesh, London, Manhattan, the Netherlands, or basically anywhere flat and expensive, you're now beachfront. Actually, okay. First, let's assume all 26.5 million cubic kilometers of Antarctic ice melts. Up to 2 billion people would be displaced. That's not a refugee crisis. That's an aquatic stampede. The coastlines of Earth would look like a drunk toddler redesigned them. Goodbye, New Orleans. Farewell, Tokyo and Venice. She never stood a chance. And it's not just homes, ports, farmland, airports, roads, all underwater. Imagine trying to land a plane where there used to be Miami. Welcome to Waterworld, International Edition. The polar ecosystem would implode like a badly written movie plot. Emperor penguins, toast seals, homeless krill, confused and looking for someone to blame. With so much arable land flooded or ruined by weather chaos, we could lose huge percentages of global crops. That means prices skyrocket. Wars start. People panic by canned peaches like it's Y2K. But moist. Billionaires start building yachts shaped like cities. Elon Musk tweets, told you we needed Mars. Also, fun fact, Antarctic ice reflects sunlight like a giant frozen mirror. Even with insane global warming, it would take thousands of years. But if we keep burning fossil fuels like a campfire that never ends, parts of it could collapse much sooner, especially West Antarctica, and snowstorms in places that haven't seen mittens since the Ice Age. When it melts, Earth absorbs way more heat. That speeds up climate change, so it's like losing your sun hat, the thermaline circulation aka Earth's ocean conveyor belt, could slow or shut down. That means Europe might get colder, while the tropics get hotter and hurricanes get, well, drunk and aggressive, while trapped in an oven that you live in now. Humanity builds floating cities. Floating cities become pirate hubs. Venice becomes the new capital of the floating states of America. Ocean life freaks out. Coral reefs bleach faster than your grandma's laundry. Megastorms spin like demonic Beyblades over angry oceans. Melting Antarctica messes with ocean currents like a toddler smashing a lava lamp. Weather becomes completely unpredictable. One day it's 140 degrees Fahrenheit and raining fish. The next day, it's snowing sideways in the Sahara. So we're looking at droughts, where rain used to live. Floods, where desserts used to be. Global food production. The oceans are warm soup, jellyfish are thriving, and sharks have adapted to walk on land. Okay, maybe not, but wouldn't that be the cherry on top? Ironically, in watch old ThinkPath videos in VR is the last digital comfort. Insurance companies go extinct. And all because we wanted to save money on emissions by driving a coal-powered SUV to get milk. Okay, could Antarctica melt completely? Not overnight, and wonder what the giant Amazon logo was for. So yes, it's slow, until it's suddenly not. With that much fresh water dumped into the oceans, salinity drops. See you next time on ThinkPath, where curiosity leads the way. Sometimes straight into planetary doom. Earth's temperature soars. Clouds disappear. Oceans evaporate. We recreate the Great Dine of 252 million years ago, but this time with better Wi-Fi. And don't forget, melting ice releases methane, a greenhouse gas that makes CO2 look like a baby blanket. Earth starts slow cooking itself. Cities try to build seawalls. Seawalls fail. Meanwhile, billionaires buy submarines. Jeff Bezos launches Prime Sub free delivery to Atlantis. The atmosphere heats up so much, we lose jet streams. People try to invent portable climate pods. The rich move underground. The poor move into chaos. By now, Earth has turned into a weird combo of Venus and Waterworld. A runaway greenhouse effect takes hold. Eventually, Earth becomes a lifeless sauna, boiling and dry. The last surviving humans upload themselves to the cloud. Antarctica is now a lukewarm swamp. The penguins are gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Life always finds a way, though. Eventually, some kind of heat-loving bacteria evolves into sentient lava crabs who worship the ruins of our cities. Asterisk. Asterisk. More of the story, don't melt Antarctica. Maybe just, I don't know, bike to work and plant a tree. Thanks for watching, fellow thinkers. Remember to like, subscribe, and keep asking weird, terrifying, brilliant questions.